Hello there, beautiful people. I am back with a new YouTube video. Finally, I know, I think I say that in every video, like, oh, I'm finally back with a new one. But today's makeup is this orangey, bronzy kind of look. Truthfully, I'm not a huge fan of the color orange. I just don't really like the way it looks on me, but I wanted to kind of step outside of my comfort zone. As a makeup artist, you're supposed to challenge yourself and experiment with different looks, so that's why I did this orange look for you today. I've had Lady Danger for like a thousand years, like probably when it first came out, and as you can tell, never really used it but yeah like I said it's fun to experiment with new things I will have another video up for you guys this week with my haul from Mac yeah it looks like I bought out the store um, but I got the new fix plus sprays I actually just um, once I finished this video I actually just sprayed this rose one like all over my face but um yeah I so saw I'll show you guys this stuff in my next video and then stuff from the wash and dry collection I'm a little late on showing you this because I'm pretty sure this collection is off counter now but I mean at least you can kind of see what I got I think that's all I really wanted to say so stay tuned to see how I got this super bronzy orange look so I'm going to start by priming my skin with the MAC Strobe Cream and the Pore Minimizing Primer from Smashbox. And I'm using Sienna and Mahogany by Becca. Now I'm going to prime my eyelids using the 24 hour eye base from MAC. This stuff is TheBomb.com. You guys will soon come to find out that the Brown Scrub Eyeshadow by MAC is my absolute favorite crease color of all time. So that's what I'm putting in my crease right now with a 224 MAC brush. I'm also taking the Eyeshadow Rule by MAC and putting that in my crease as well. Now using my 239 brush by MAC, I'm taking the color Sweet Eyes from the Sharon Osbourne palette and I'm putting that on the innerish part of my eye and now I'm taking the color Sexy Eyes and placing that on the remainder. Taking Sexy Eyes again and a 217 brush by MAC, I'm just going to dust that into the crease just a little bit to add a little bit more sheen. With that same 217 brush, I'm going to go back into wool and add a little bit of that on the outer corner so this can be full on orange girl. So I kind of lost the clip of me putting on these lashes, but these are the number 7s by MAC. Now I'm adding some Hot and Naughty Mascara by MAC to my real lashes to help them kind of blend in a little bit more with the false lashes. Now I'm sweeping a little bit more of sexy eyes underneath my eyes just so they look all super shimmery and awake and stuff. And then I'm also going to, okay, I'm going to get it in my eyeball. <laughs> and then I'm also going to take a little bit of brown script and put that underneath the color sexy eyes. Now I'm taking the technical pencil in the color Risqué by MAC and applying that in my wet line. Oh, it just wouldn't be me if I wasn't struggling with something in the video. But now I'm taking some mascara and putting that on the bottom lashes since we didn't do black eyeliner. You want to make sure you load up on mascara. Now I am taking Sweet Eyes and Femme Fatale and just putting that in the tear ducts of my eyes to kind of brighten those a bit. Now on to the rest of the face. I'm putting the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn underneath my eyes, basically wherever I want to highlight. I'm still not 100% in love with this concealer, like I haven't quite got all the hype of it yet. Like coverage wise, it is truly the bomb.com, but I still feel like it creases up on me more than the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. That's my absolute fave. Oh, and I'm using a 132 brush by MAC to apply the concealer to the high planes of my face.
Now I'm going to set all the highlighted areas, just kidding, not with that powder, but with that one. That is the MSF from MAC and Medium Tan. And that is a Real Techniques setting brush I'm using there. So like in real life, I usually skip this step because my skin is so dry, but I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face using the Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark, which is okay because we're going to drench our face in Fix Plus at the end anyway. Contouring, I'm taking the Blush Blunt in a 227 and carving out my cheekbones, and I'm also going to do the same to my nose. Don't worry, we're not going to leave that line all harsh and obvious like that. Chillax. Now I'm going to blend out that contour using the blush Raisin, also by MAC. Um, and this is going to kind of double as a bronzer for me as well. Taking the Mineral Eye Skin Finish in Cheeky Bronze, I'm just going to put that down the middle of my nose just to give a little bit more highlighted definition. I'm also gonna pop that on the high planes of my face. So tops of cheekbones, my five head, a little bit on the cupid bow, and the chin. Now I'm taking this iridescent loose powder from MAC called Bee Dust. This stuff is ancient. Like I'm talking at least 10 years old. Ooh, I dropped my makeup bag. Watch your mouth, Erica. But I'm going to sample a tad of this out or maybe too much because you know that's how I do. And I'm going to apply this on the same place I just put the cheeky bronze. As you can see, I just received my entire life. For blush today, I'm using Peach Dream by Smashbox. This is their long wear halo blush it's so pretty i love it you twist it and your product comes up it's bomb only thing i don't like is you don't really know how much is in there so when you run out you just run out moving on to the lips i'm going to wipe off whatever greasy chapstick i had on that yeah, that's gross mm -hmm. and i'm just going to apply the lip liner auburn by mac on my lippies Definitely don't want to forget about the lip primer because we're wearing a matte today and we don't want our lips looking crusty and dusty. There she is. That is Lady Danger. Holy crap, that's really orange. <laughs> Now to finish up, I'm going to spritz my face with the new Rose Scented Fix Plus Spray. Natural hair problems had to cover my hair up. <laughs> And that is the complete look. I hope you guys liked it. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you want to see next. I will have the haul video of the stuff I got from MAC. I'll have that up for you this week as well. I think that's it. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you guys next time. She like it rough, I'ma beat it up